We are not afraid of saboteurs. Namdi Kano claims. The leader of ego separatist group, indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Namdi Kano, has said that his group is not afraid of saboteurs and traitors who are making moves to derail the group's struggle for an independent Biafra. The separatist leader, in a press statement, he made available through the group's media and publicity advisor, Emma Powerful, said, We don't appeal or build bridges with saboteurs and traitors. To us, they are as irrelevant and inconsequential as Euro Erats on 3,000 Naira data stipend a week. He also warned any member who sabotage the efforts of the group of total expulsion and punishment from the group. Saboteurs threaten us with the treachery if you sabotage the sacred project of IPO. You will be kicked out of the family. You will be shredded and destroyed. And sometimes worse things will happen to you if we catch you. There is no forgiveness, no pardon, no pity, no diplomacy, no bridge building. Once you are out, you are an outcast forever. Form as many useless pro Biafran groups as you like with the help of DSS or Ohanese. Gossip as much as you like with your multiple fake accounts. You will never be allowed back in. We allow petty saboteurs to keep coming forward because it makes it easier for us to destroy them. The more dangerous ones are those in our midst pretend but working for the enemy. Any IPOP appealing to online traitors to stop hitting Kano and IPOP is mentally weak. IPOP was forged in the heart of battle and purified in the furnace ceaseless confrontation for eight years. Bridge building with traitors is for the confused and unfocused. We are IPOP. We conquer and subdue our enemies with overwhelming evidence and incontrovertible proof. We drown them in the pool of truth. We love trouble, enmity, and confrontation because we believe and know that enemies within and without our good for us. The same way a good immune system can only be built by the body confronting viruses and bacteria on a regular basis. We are arrogant, yes, because IPOP is the best there is in the whole world. An unarmed group that broke a country with nothing but truth. If, as a frontline activist, you mistakenly think that our love and praise of your work for Biafra means we are gullible and can be divided, then we show you who we are. Any day you step out of line, you are toast. We would sink you because many have died in prison and tortured for this Biafra. We are like the vulture. We have no friend. We have no enemy. We only love those that pursue Biafra in truth and honesty. Once you deviate, then it's bye-bye, no matter who you think you are. Kanu stated. Thank you for listening to this news. Yes, Biafran is a steadfast and courageous group that fears no so it's very very clear and um, and and um, normal that uh, Biafrans will be very very much uh, outstanding when it comes to facing facing their their opponent. They have been in this in this struggle for for years now, and 
they have been defeating. Um, left alone the war in 1967 between them and Nigeria, if not for the helping hand that Nigerian got from the international organization, believe you me, Biafran would have been able to defeat Nigerian times 10, you understand? And um, the support that Nigeria got from the Russian, Russian, uh, Russian country. In fact, Nigeria was was just privileged by then. So, Biafrans giving you their words and saying this to you that that what betide any any um, saboteur or saboteur to say that will be against Biafra. It means that they meant what they, what they have said. Okay? So, um, I will say at this juncture that um, it is better for whosoever that is coming in challenge of Biafra to get himself prepared because Biafra on their own side, they are, they are very much ready for any challenge that is coming to them. You understand and that is why they are giving and sounding it as a note of warning especially to the amajuris relocating to uh to to this eastern region of nigeria you know so it's uh it's it's it, it would be of their own good interest to listen and then keep to instructions as as earlier given by the Biafrans, you know, Biafran is a republic that keep to its words. They keep to their words, you know. Okay, main, uh, let's let's look at uh, the 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 the, the uh, decision made by the IPOP leader Mazin Namdekano, and how he he took that bold step to take it up to the international community in US. See how. It, it took up the case of Biafran to the international community, see the challenges, see how it tabled it before the international community, and see the move the international community took as um, immediately it tabled it before them. That is to let you know that Biafran themselves, they are very much set and ready for whatever that is coming before them. And mind you, the support for the Republic of Biafran is already is already on ground. What are we to say? We are talking about the international country. How many international countries have given them their support? Almost all the international country in the world. Are we to talk about the Israels? Are we to talk about the United States of America? Mention them. Are we to talk about the? Um, are we to talk about the um, uh, the international uh, the, 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 the international? Uh, 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 the international organizations, unlike uh, the United Nations, European Union, the UNPO, mention them as many as possible. You know, they are much. I can say now, all these people have um, have recognized the Republic and they have even endorsed endorsed them. Not quite long, the United Nations and um, and the um, European Union endorsed. Um, Biafra, you understand? So, what are we saying? So, I'm um, saying this so that uh, you get to understand the reality behind the the actualization. The actualization. So, uh, my viewers, without much to say, I will tell you that uh, the Republic is set for achievements and then um, no matter what we we we, we are saying that uh, whosoever that is behind the 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 challenge for the republic of biafra or whosoever that is uh, against the actualization of the republic of biafra should desist should desist because the republic is already at the verge of actualization. I don't know what uh, what would be the reason why um, we'll, be, uh, we'll be against 
uh, a republic pursuing its republic. I don't know why. To me, I will see it as a sign, as a, as a sign of, um, of greediness and selfishness. The selfishness of this country is what has uh, denied these uh, people from uh, achieving their goals. So, my viewers, with no much to say, I will say that uh, let us uh, 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 stick and um, do as instructed by the Republic of, um, of Biafran in order to avoid any further violence. Understand? So what's your take on this news? Please um, don't forget to leave them behind. You click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.